Good morning YouTubians, it's Kermit's Ghost, it's Monday and that's a Blu-ray release day here in the UK. I'm in McDonald's at the moment, it's just open, going to get myself some nice breakfast and a nice hot McLatte, you know the line. And then we're going to head down to HMV, there is a film I've been looking forward to for a long time to come out and it is released today. Have that put by for me, so we're going to grab that and I'll show you exactly what is out. And also I'm going to show you a little pug, my daughter has bought a pug called Ernie, show you a bit of footage of him as well, beautiful little puppy. So let's go down to HMV. I'll see you in a bit. So I'm going to grab some breakfast. We have the breakfast roll here. It's got sausage, egg, bacon, brain sauce, and of course, a lovely McLatte. And then I'm going to head to a new store in Churchill Square. Sells all sorts of knickknacks. Uh, we'll take a look in there, and then we'll head to HMV. So coming out of that new shop, we are now heading into HMV and over to the new and trending. There were supposed to be two anime films released today, well, a TV show and a film, but they didn't have them in stock. So the first movie is SAS Red Notice, directed by Magnus Martins, written by Andy McNabb, as well as produced by him, $14.99. You can also get the DVD there for $9.99. The next one is Archive, released through Dazzler Media. It stars Theo James and Stacey Martin. A good sci-fi film, this one. I've seen it. I've already got it on a German import. $14.99. Well worth a watch. The next one is The Rainbow Jacket, released through Network. This film is from 1954 and a runtime of 99 minutes. Again, $14.99. In the 4K section now, we have the first title, which is almost famous, meant to be two copies of this today, a Cine edition and this regular edition. This one is from 2000, 161 minutes, directed and written by Cameron Crowe. Next, we have a Stanley Kubrick film from 1964. It is Dr. Strangelove, 95 minutes this one, and yours for 1999. Looper is next from 2012, 118 minutes. Stars Bruce Willis and Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Yours for 19.99. Next one is Snatch from Sony Pictures from the year 2000, 103 minutes, and stars Vinnie Jones and Brad Pitt. Yours for 19.99. Over in the World Cinema section now, we have a second run edition of Adoption. This film is from 1975 and has a runtime of 87 minutes. Yours for $17.99. In the television section now, we have an Acorn Media release of Line of Duty, complete series 1 to 6 on Blu-ray. 
The show ran from 2012 through to 2021. Six seasons, 1,830 minutes. Yours for 59.99. That's £10 per season. Not bad. And over by the till, we have these novelty gifts. You've got license plates here. You've got Ecto one there from Ghostbusters. You've got the Jurassic Park one there. You've got Out of Time from Back to the Future. And you've got one here, Amity Island from Jaws. Nice little gifts. 26 99 each. So as you can see, I popped into CEX. I must pick this film up because it's on the cult movie poster. THX 1138. You've got Puppet Master there for £12. Don't know if that's any good. Never seen it. And you've got the sequel there for a tenner. I don't know if that's any good either. If that's underpriced or overpriced, let me know. You've got the complete a Police Academy there for £15. You've got a Criterion Overlord there for £10. That's not bad. Star Trek Next Generation for £45 got this clone wars box set there for 52 i think i paid 55 for mine that's one to five if you wanted one to four they have that there as well lots of the marvel studio cinematic universe phases one through whatever three i believe star girl there for 15 pound you can buy that cheaper in hmv i think it's 11 or 12 fringe 32 pound this is pretty good in condition just a little nick on the front there but it's uh, well worth the money great show that one there's the Eureka Buster Keaton set. You've got the Navigator, Seven Chances, and Vaseline Butler. £35, you probably get that cheaper through Eureka themselves. You've got the Creeps there. I've never heard of this film. £10, don't know if that's a good deal or not. Slip's got the same art cover uh, underneath there. Piranha, watched this recently. What a pile of crap. The effects, the story is awful. Not worth £20. This one, you've got Planet of the Apes, all seven movies. That's the originals. And the Tim Burton remake. You got the Arrow release there of Night of the Comet from 1984. £18. Pound. Don't know if that's a good deal or not. This one not heard of. Vengeance is mine for £12. Eureka title. So that's pretty good. Arrow Academy here for Untamed. £6. I think that's a pretty good deal there. Weathering with you. £12. Got a few copies of that in stock. And last but not least. You have a copy of Woody Woodpecker there for a fiver. So right now I'm in my daughter's flat. This is Ernie, her little pug. He's only, I think he's either eight or nine weeks old. He's as sweet as a button. And I'll leave you with a little bit of footage of him. Hey everybody, welcome back. These are the pickups of this week. Seven titles plus a baseball cap. That's why I'm wearing it. Let's crack on with it. The first title is The Craze. This is a limited edition from Second Sight and it's the story of the notorious brothers that ruled East London in the late 50s and through the 60s until their arrest in 1968. The movie itself was made in 1990 and stars Billy Whitelaw as Violet Crane, that's the twins' mother. You've got Tom Bell as Jack the Hat McVitie, who triggered the downfall of The Craze. Um, the Craze themselves are played by Will Brothers, Gary and Martin Kemp. They play Ronnie and Reggie. And you've got Susan Fleetwood as Rose. Now, this film has got special meaning for me because my wife was actually offered a part in this movie. She was also offered a job working with me at the same time. So she took the job with me and that's how we met. And a year later, we were married. So if she'd have taken the, the film role, we probably would have never met. 
it's all about chances people anyway this film was directed by peter medak he's the one who directed the brilliant film let him have it and it's all about the title if you know the film and this film is 119 minutes long let's have a look inside and see exactly what you get for your cash well the film itself i have to mention is 28.99 you get one of those removable J cards with a sticky bit at the front. Remove that. So you got that. And you've got like a outline of houses on the back. And a nice spine there. This is a very sturdy box. So it's always nice to have. The film itself comes in a black case. There's artwork on the disc. There's a bunch of art cards, which I shall show you. There's the brothers there. There's the brothers with Jack the Hackmut Vitti. The brothers with their machine guns. That's a great image there of them with their gang. That's a bit of artwork there. And you also get a 42 page lovely thick booklet. Very high quality. So that is it. That is Second Sight's release of The Craze. The next one is SAS Red Notice, a British film, and I believe, according to this, it's a Sky TV exclusive, so it's nice to see it come out on Blu-ray. 123 minutes and stars Ruby Rose. Now, I know this girl gets a lot of hate, especially online. If you look at any of her trailers, a lot of hate in the comments. I don't get it myself. I've seen her in The Meg, John Wick 3, and Adornman, and she wasn't bad in any of those. All right, she's not Gary Oldman, but I think she's doing a pretty good job. Also stars Andy Serkis, who I like as an actor. He's done lots of Marvel work and obviously lots of CGI mission capture stuff. Like in Lord of the Rings, he was Gollum. King Kong, he was King Kong. The Planet of the Apes reboot, he was Caesar. But I do like him in his live action performances as well, like Ink Heart or more recently, The Ghost of Christmas Past, the miniseries that was on a couple of years ago. Anyway, this is uh, about mercenaries that take control of a, uh, a train in the Channel Tunnel. And that's all you need to know, really. It's lots of actions, lots of stunts. It's a leave your brain at the door kind of movie. One of those. So let's take a look inside. So inside, you get artwork on the disc. And that is SAS Red Notice. The next title is a reissue from Eureka. It's three Buster Keaton movies in one set with a total runtime of 191 minutes. Features Sherlock Jr., The General, and Steamboat Bill Jr. So the first one, Sherlock Jr., was both directed and starring Buster and made back in 1924. It's about a projectionist that's in love with a girl, played by Catherine Maguire. But he is framed by a love rival, the local sheik, played by Ward Crane. It's got a runtime of 45 minutes, meaning it's a five-reel film. Next is The General, co-directed and starring Buster. This time it's an eight-reel film with a runtime of 75 minutes. And there's some absolutely brilliant stunts in this movie, including the train on the collapsing bridge, which would probably account for the $750,000 budget. And the last in the set is Steamboat Bill Jr., a film from 1928 with a runtime of 71 minutes. So it's a seven-reel film. And this one features one of Buster's most famous stunts and probably his riskiest stunt of all. This is one where the side of the building falls on him and he fits through the window, which stopped him from being crushed. There was a two-ton wall and there was no trickery involved at all at a clearance of just a few inches either side. Let's take a look inside. So each film is on a separate disc. There is inner artwork. and a 24 page book so that was a three movie set of buster keaton from eureka the next film is minari and it's a film from lee isaac chung and the film itself is loosely based on his upbringing now the film itself follows a korean family living in america in 1983 in arkansas and the difficulties they face getting their farm to work you know finding contacts to sell their produce finding a water source on the farm and taking in additional family members the title comes from the seeds the grandmother plants near the creek and it's 115 minutes long and won the best foreign language film in the 78th golden globe awards let's take a look inside so inside you do get artwork on the disc so that was minari from 2021 Next is Mortal Kombat, a reboot of the film series, and this was made this year and produced by James Wan, director of the Conjuring series, were well, the first two anyway. Uh, this is a martial arts fantasy film based on the games franchise, and it's got a runtime of 110 minutes. It's about an MMA fighter, Cole Young, who must stand with Earth's greatest champions and take on the enemies of Outworld in a battle for the universe. Looks like it's a lot of fun, so I thought I'd give it a whirl. Let's take a look inside. So the slip has the same artwork as the cover. Inside you get a little pamphlet there on the other available titles and you get a plain blue disc. So that was the Mortal Kombat Reboot Edition. 
Next up is Giovanni's Island, a Japanese animated historical drama about two brothers who live on an island called Shikatan, just as World War II is coming to an end, August 15th, 1945 to be precise. Soviet soldiers are landing, are about to occupy the land that they call home, and it deals with cross-cultural friendships. 102 minutes long, and it has the voice talents of Goda Yokoyama as Junpei and Yunya Tanae as Kanta. The film itself was released on February 22nd, 2014 in Japan and North America. Let's take a look inside. So there's artwork on the disc. There's the original cover, but if you reverse it, you get rid of all the accolades it won at the top and the age logo in the corner. So that was Giovanni's Island. I paid £6 for this. If you want it brand new, you can get it from HMV for £6.99. So the last title I purchased from Gary, channel name Blu-ray Collector, and it's an unofficial release. I've got to stipulate, should this ever get an official release, I will swap them out as long as it's region B. This is Artemis Fowl, a Disney Plus exclusive. It's a science fiction action adventure based on a novel of the same name, directed by Kenneth Branagh, who's done everything from directing, acting, producing, and writing. And he's in Harry Potter to Tenet. So, and he's also directing the upcoming new film, Death on the Nile. Anyway, this stars... Uh, third year short as Artemis Fowl II, he's a criminal mastermind. You've got Laura McDonnell in this as Holly Short, she's an 84 year old elf. You've got Josh Gad looking like Hadwid, by the way, as Mulch Diggums, Colin Fowles in this, and Dame Judi Dench. And it's just a fun adventure film which is told through flashbacks as Diggums being interviewed by British intelligence as to the whereabouts of Artemis Fowl Sr. and the supposedly stolen artifacts in the Fowl's possessions. The film itself suffered a lot of pushbacks and eventually made its way to the streaming sites. Let's take a look inside. So you do get artwork on this unofficial release. And inside artwork, I told you he looked like Hagrid, didn't I? Old uh, Diggums. So that, oh no, I've just noticed artwork 2BA. So I'll get my daughter to reprint the cover, get rid of that. That was Artemis Fowl, the unofficial release. So that is it. Have you seen any of those films or do you have anything to say? Then pop it down in the comments and I will get back to you, I promise. Give the video a thumbs up. It really does help the channel and subscribe if you haven't. It's all free. Why wouldn't you? On that note, all it's said to say is thank you so much for choosing my channel today, watching my video. Take care and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.